Well, high nitrogen fertilizer prices are surely a challenge for corn growers as they look at trying to make some decisions going into the, the planting season for 2022. I'd like to share a few ideas with you uh, in this video around what we might consider in changing some of our nitrogen management practices in order to maximize our end use efficiency. In other words, getting them as many bushels out of each pound of nitrogen that we might be applying to our crop. As we think about nitrogen, obviously a very key component to any high yielding corn system. But the challenge that we have with nitrogen is that one, it's a very mobile nutrient, which means it moves around in the soil even after application. And the challenge is, is that it can move around up to the time it's taken up by the corn plant. And as you can see from the chart on the right of this slide, we're looking at the growth stage of a corn plant by timing, by the amount of total end taken up in, during the life stage of that corn plant. And the challenge is that most of the nitrogen is gonna be taken up in the corn plant after that V8 stage, all the way up through grain fill. Unfortunately, or fortunately, being how you wanna manage this, is that we tend to apply nitrogen way before that, whether it's in the fall or the spring, or you know, many, many weeks before that plant is gonna be taken it up. And so we have risk for losing that nitrogen investment because of this time gap between time of application and the time that that corn plant's gonna take it up. So how do we manage that? Let's talk about a few ideas. One would be is just thinking about selecting uh, the, the right nitrogen target rate. And that is, may not be as easy as it sounds. A lot of us uh, have experienced this. Uh, we've seen fields where we had maybe not as much nitrogen as we thought we were gonna get and yields were fine. And we've always seen those conditions where we ran short of nitrogen that, that corn plant has reacted negatively as well. So if you think about once you've picked your corn, your, your, your nitrogen target, the next step is how do I hang on to it? How do I make sure that we don't lose that nitrogen investment? And there are a couple tools in your toolbox that we can access. If we're looking at an anhydrous ammonia application, we can use an end stabilizer like Enser, which keeps that ammonia in a stable form for a longer period of time. So we reduce that risk of loss out of that soil profile. If we're using other nitrogen sources such as urea or UAN, Instinct Next Gen also gives us some of the same advantages as far as stabilizing that nitrogen and making it less suitable or less, less likely to be lost from that soil profile and give that corn plant a chance to absorb it. As we think about trying to you know, maximize our nitrogen utilization, the, the key thing is always making sure we're accounting for every source of nitrogen that we might have available to us. Now, while that may seem relatively straightforward, I want you to think about it because obviously if we're in a corn soybean rotation, uh, there's a rotation credit we need to account for. If we're happy to be applying other fertilizers, particularly some of our phosphorus fertilizers, which also tend to uh, contain nitrogen sources, such as MAP or DAB. If you're using cover crops uh, after the previous crop and before that corn crop, we can count on that cover crop actually sequestering or capturing some of that soil nitrogen from the previous season holding it in its biomass, and as it breaks down that following growing season, releasing that nitrogen back to the corn plant to be utilized in, in season. University of Nebraska has done some research that, which, that demonstrated that uh, if we grow a cereal rye crop and we have about a thousand pounds of dry matter per acre, that will give us an equivalent of a 40 pound per acre nitrogen credit. So not, nothing to, to ignore in that case. And obviously those growers using manure um, we well know the advantages of being able to capture uh, and account for the nitrogen component of that manure application. In a lot of neighborhoods, you know, manure is sold much like any commercial fertilizer, and it comes along with a, an analysis to tell you how much uh, nutrient levels in each, each load or each, each application. The third thing I want you to consider is, are there opportunities to actually be more intensive in our nitrogen management strategies? And a couple things to consider there. Uh, one is uh, obviously using a nitrogen model. In other words, a computer-driven, data-driven model, uh, such as what's available through granular agronomy, that would actually help us see growing that crop and also measuring that, that uptake based on your field and weather conditions. And the advantage of this is that we can actually see how well that crop is doing. And if we have to make some in-season adjustments, we have that information to be able to, to, to maybe tweak that system maybe come into the season at a little lower nitrogen late rate than we normally would, and then augment, augment that if we need to. And finally, the last tool in the toolbox is biologicals. This is a relatively new area, lots of activity in this in the, in the industry. Uh, Utrisha N is a biological product that actually fixes ammonium from the atmosphere. 
uh, into the, the, the biological product itself. And again, making that available to that corn plant later in the season. So hopefully if you think about putting your plan together and trying to find your way through some of the high uh, prices of, of fertilizers compared to the, some of the high corn prices and finding that economic balance, maybe these ideas can give you some opportunities to find ways to improve that management practices. Thank you.